Luxembourg, a small European nation nestled between France, Belgium and Germany, found itself thrust into the chaos of World War II despite its efforts to remain neutral. From the swift invasion by Nazi Germany to the struggles of occupation and eventual liberation, Luxembourg's wartime experience is a testament to the resilience of its people in the face of adversity. Invasion and Occupation On May 10, 1940, Nazi Germany launched a lightning-fast invasion of Luxembourg as part of its larger campaign to conquer Western Europe. Despite its small size and limited military capabilities, Luxembourg's army offered token resistance before capitulating to the overwhelming German forces. Within hours, German troops occupied the country, marking the beginning of a dark chapter in Luxembourg's history. Under Nazi occupation, Luxembourg's sovereignty was systematically eroded, and its population endured repression, censorship, and forced conscription into the German military. The occupying forces established a puppet government, and Luxembourg's Jewish population faced persecution and deportation to concentration camps. Resistance and Resilience Despite the challenges of occupation, Luxembourg's people demonstrated remarkable resilience and resistance against Nazi tyranny. Underground resistance networks, such as the Letzeburger Patriot Liga, engaged in acts of sabotage, espionage and clandestine communication with the Allies. Brave individuals risked their lives to resist the German occupation and preserve Luxembourg's national identity. Luxembourg's resistance movement was not limited to armed struggle. Cultural and intellectual resistance also flourished. Writers, artists and intellectuals clandestinely produced anti-Nazi literature and disseminated information to counter German propaganda. The Catholic Church played a significant role in providing moral and humanitarian support to those affected by the occupation. Liberation and Rebuilding Luxembourg's liberation came with the advance of Allied forces in the closing stages of World War II. American troops entered Luxembourg in September 1944, liberating the country from Nazi occupation after four years of hardship and suffering. The liberation was met with jubilation and relief, but Luxembourg had suffered significant human and material losses during the war. In the aftermath of World War II, Luxembourg embarked on a path of rebuilding and reconciliation. The country played an active role in European integration efforts, becoming a founding member of the European Coal and Steel Community in 1951, a precursor to the European Union. Luxembourg's commitment to peace, democracy and international cooperation serves as a testament to the resilience of its people in the face of adversity. Conclusion Luxembourg's experience in World War II is a poignant reminder of the human cost of conflict and the enduring spirit of resistance and resilience. Despite being a small nation, Luxembourg's people refused to succumb to Nazi tyranny and fought bravely for their freedom and dignity. The legacy of World War II continues to shape Luxembourg's national identity and commitment to peace, democracy and solidarity with the international community.